selection for us. Put our hands together as they minister to us. That's the name of the Lord.
as a child. And I hear the Holy Ghost speaking to me. There's an old deacon when I was growing up for something like service. I'll never forget it. Brother James Warren, I just want you to do something for me. Go get a broom from the hall. I'll put this broom here. I'll put this broom here, you know, because I talk quiet and move passively. Come to tell this congregation today that the Holy Ghost sees all. Yes, he does. I come to take authority over the spirit of religion and tradition. Breaking this church. Start breaking this church. What was for yesterday is for yesterday. That's right. That's why the New Testament says no man can put new wine in old wine skins. Because the wine skins would be brittle. That's right. And the wine wouldn't be able to contain it. Thank God for everything that happened on yesterday. I appreciate Bishop Smith. I appreciate my dad. I appreciate all of them. I appreciate Ray H. Hughes. I appreciate John D. Nichols. I appreciate all of them. But the cloud of glory is moving. The cloud of glory is moving. I said the cloud of glory is moving. Myself, I'm going to set myself free because I feel this tension that the enemy would want to bring for me to, you know, how do I move? I'm trying to move this church in, in, in the way God is talking to me. That's because I wear a colorful coat. God said, put your, jo put your Joseph coat on this morning. Put your Joseph coat on this morning. Because sometimes when God places his hand on you, you become strange to people strange in situations but before the service is over one thing you won't find about me because I grew up under the Holy Ghost I grew up all I know is Pentecost and I'm striving as I stand before you one thing you won't say about me whenever the Holy Ghost releases me that man did his best to live a Christian life but we could fight and fuss and argue every Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday but when the Holy Ghost got you in check, you won't behave a certain way. Now God is saying to me, He's not going to release me until heritage is simple things for heritage. You're going to learn to love at a deeper level. Not that you were not loving before, but you're going to learn to love at a deeper level. You're going to learn to love. We're going to learn to respect each other at a deeper level. We're going to respect each other and move in harmony. And when the pastor doesn't do it how you think he should do it, you still run rather around the pastor and say he's the appointed man for this time. And I don't understand it. And I'm not throwing out any words. That's why I do from the pulpit. Because a lot of times you're not going to understand everything that the pastor does. I say it in love to you, Heritage Hall, without throwing any stones. But we're going to move with God. This church has a great destiny ahead of it. It's come with great birthing pains for my wife and I. When we sit here Sunday mornings and see what we see, we don't take no glory. Can I talk a little bit before the preacher comes on? Yes, I will agree that I'm not a foreigner. And some were saying a foreigner should have been the overseer. Come in with more experience. But sometimes when you have the experience, you don't lean fully on the Lord. I'm leaning fully on the Lord to rebuild this church, to rebuild this ministry. If he says, stop Tuesday night and pray, I'm going to stop Tuesday night and pray. If he says, come church on Sunday night and sing, we're going to come and sing. If he tells me, shut the church down, I'm going to shut the church down. Because he has people assigned to this ministry who will be coming before the foundation of the world. He told me on International Sunday, and I'm going to do it, and I'm going to decrease. He said, Duncan, not that I haven't been doing it, he said, let me run this church. If an Anglican is to come in with no tie on and shirt out of his pants and strum a guitar, let me run this church. This is not my church. This is not my pulpit. It is the church of God. And when you 
you've been taught a particular way, sometimes it's hard to get certain things out of your mind. But I feel I'm going to free a few people before I'm done with this service today. Hallelujah! Free you. Yes! Free you. Free you. This church is going to run as the Holy Ghost would have it to run. We're going to get there as the Holy Ghost would want us to get there. The abundant things is a real big You know what I'm talking about. There are the you know what I'm talking about. Some of the meetings that I had to navigate through, navigate this church through. It's the only those that see it know it. And this church has come against some rough seas. I'm so glad for one of these ministers that are just coming beside me. He was just saying this week, this church, he's sorry, he's sorry that the Holy Ghost. That's why sometimes you don't know. My wife and I, there's another one I wanted to tell. Lifted us up in California, four hours away. And then we got in California, we're in some buddy's living room, eating chicken and eating macaroni. And the Holy Ghost in California ran a whole year ahead of me in the church of God and told me, expect something. Expect a little something to come up, and you won't have to deal with it. And my wife, I'm glad that's why I traveled with her. And she was there, and every now and then we would say, what is, what is that the Holy Ghost was seeing? And sure enough, what was spoken in California, that's why I'm telling you, sometimes you don't know, I try to walk with the Holy Ghost. And sometimes he calls and puts this church up on the screen. And when you're saying, if I was him, I'd move to the right. But the Holy Ghost already told me that's what's the expected route. But go to the left. And if you go to the left, everything is going to be okay. Everybody lift your hands. Because we can't go into this next move with old mindset. Now, Lord, every old mindset. Old mindset. Old mindset. God, I came in this church. September the 23rd, 1963, I honored Dr. Fowler. I saw that man of God move under the Holy Ghost. He raised up Bishop Goodman Smith to take this church further. The church burnt down. He said, we lost the building, but we still got the church. On this Pentecost Sunday, a few years in our history, the devil tried a dirty trick on this church. But in 2014, I stand to cancel the residue of the past. And I ask you to give this church now full clearance into the future. Lord, in simplistic form, I said, if there is a Babylonian garment left in this ministry, remove it. And I stand on this Pentecost Sunday to say anything that is in this church that shouldn't be here, remove it in the name of Jesus. This church has experienced too much drama and too much stress. I come to stand to say, give us clearance to the next level. Even as the other six churches come here tonight to sit under the word of Prophetess Joyce Lynn Barnett, I pray for freedom. I come against every disruptive spirit, every critical spirit. This is Pentecost Sunday. We come to experience you afresh in the mighty name of Jesus, the cloud of glory is moving. If you know it, help me, baby.
He is our servant for today. The word will be preached through him. It's good to have you all the way from New York on this Pentecost Sunday. You are my friend. You are my brother. Thank God for the times that we've shared. I value your humility today. God bless you as you come and share the word. Every heart, let's stand now and let's receive our speaker for the day. Pastor Chabella is a native from the motherland Africa, now residing in New York. He is a church of God individual. He's just recently graduated from the School of Theology in Cleveland, Tennessee. Education is a part of it, but the Holy Ghost is the real deal. But we thank God for you, Pastor Jabella. Take your liberty and bless our Lord. Would you please, everybody, stand with me if you can? Stand with me if you can. Father, it's in your presence we are tonight. We know that where the Spirit of God is, there's freedom. I ask you that, Father, as we, I bring forth your word. Oh God. May it come from your throne. Amen. I pray that, Father, those that are feeling discouraged, let them fly back to Jesus. The Lord feeling sick, may they heal, feel the healing power of God. Those that cannot see the future, Father, you are the future. Yes. Father, you are the light of the world. You are our hope. You are our destiny. Yes. Father, Lord, of celebrate today the Pentecost day. We ask that Heavenly Father come down. We invite the Holy Spirit to take over by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you your presence. Yes. Father, your spirit, wherever the Spirit of God is, there's that freedom. Yes. I pray that, Lord, may you manifest the power of God. Yes. May you heal somebody, show somebody the future, break off the chain from somebody. Yes. By the power of the Holy Spirit, thank you, Lord, for your presence. Yes. We honor, Lord, your servant, Dr. Duncan, Father, thank you for the presence and the legacy of his dynamic presence. Yes, Lord. Thank you. We pray that this church, Father God, yes. as his destiny for greater heights, I rebuke the devourer, yes. I rebuke the cantabites and the locusts, yes. those that have come to destroy the Father in the name of Jesus. Yes. It is time to move. Yes. It is time to go to our destiny, Father God. Yes. It is time to experience that breakthrough of God. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Thank you, Father. Lord, as I speak tonight, I ask you that Lord God speak through me. Let your word bring blessings to your people. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Everybody says amen. amen. Please. As we are worshiping, I want to bear in mind that today is the Holy Ghost, the Pentecost today. Wherever the Spirit of God is, there is the freedom of God. Yes. The Lord is saying to somebody here. The Lord has been calling, there's somebody the Lord has been calling to full time in this church. But you have been counting the cost, calculating. The Lord is saying, be confident when the Lord speaks. He speaks. And as a person, the Lord is saying to you, you have just been here. Wherever the presence of God is, the Lord healeth. Wherever you are, you lift up your hand, I'll pray for you wherever you are. You don't go back home the same tonight. His presence is here. Another person, the Lord says, you have pain right, right here. You have pain right here. The Lord is here to minister to your pain. It is time to walk free in the house of the Lord. When you talk about breaking the church, yeah. you are talking of your freedom. Yeah. Lift up your hands wherever you are. You have pain right here. You are pain right The Lord is saying you want to set you free. Would you please walk in the front if you can. His presence is here to set you free. You need to go back home, never the same, but touched by the power of the Holy Spirit. Come up here if you can. Come up here. Come up here if you can. The Spirit of the Lord is here this morning. You need to lose up and forget 
the little things that are bothering you and be in the house of God. Father, we are in your presence this morning. You don't speak to entertain, you speak because of sin. I pray tonight by the power of the Holy Spirit, touch your servants. He will the Lord God. They will never go back home the same this morning. Touch them by the power of the Holy Spirit. Jesus, we thank you that you are still the same. You are the same yesterday. Today you are the same. Forever you will be. Will I ask our spiritual father to just lay your hand upon your people? Amen. Mother Dan, can you please lay your hand upon those that have got the back? Lay your hand upon them. His presence is here. Please tune yourself to God's presence. Bear in mind that wherever God is, something is happening. Yes. God is in the house. He is in the house. Praise the name of the Lord. Somebody tune yourself before the Lord. Forget about things around you. Focus your attention on Jehovah God. Hallelujah. Let go, let go, release, release yourself. Let the hands as I pray together with you right now. Release yourself in the presence of the Lord. Don't battle with him. Do not battle with him, says the Lord. Let him take his way. He is the potter and will the clay. Amen. Father, anoint your servant right now. Anoint, take it, take it right now. Don't resist him. Take, take it right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. Rita
If those, when you walk through the fire, when you walk through the waters, you don't be drowned, then the youth of God, how much is my purpose as God? morning by with a testimony I want to give 
I came to this church about, I mean, in 2002. It was the first time I came here. I met Bishop Duncan. I found my, my heart into him. When I was still pastoring a, a church, I can't remember the name. You know, uh, we passed there this morning. He took me on and he identified himself with me. And from there, one of the things Bishop Smith said to me, is that Chabala, I need you to study. And since then I took on the books, began to search. I moved on to the US, it was so hard because it's expensive. But I've got good news to you, to tell you. That last Saturday I graduated. Yeah. I want to give the, the honor to God, Dr. Smith, at this church. You know, with me this morning. Without this church, I would have not been. I'm so proud to be here. Each time I come, I feel so wonderful to be here because you are something in my life. But anyway, this morning I want to speak to you on the very important subject I've been thinking since Bishop said, come preach for me. I've entitled my subject, The Place God There. The Place God There. I was on flight, I began to think, Lord God, I need to understand this place God there. And I know many times that when God was dealing with the servants of the Lord, he had to tell them, I want to take the place God there. The place God there is a, a mystical place. Sometimes you don't even understand it. It's a place of your maximum potential. It's a place of greatness. Yeah. It's a place of your destiny. It's a place where Apostle Paul reached and said, I have finished the rest. Yes. I don't know the earth anything. When I look back, I have finished what I'm supposed to do. It's a place of accomplishment. Uh -huh. It's a place of fulfillment. Yeah. It's, a, it's a place of fullness of joy. Uh -huh. It's a place where you feel that. I can look back and see the goodness of God. Yeah. The place up there is a place very interesting. But you know, it's a place that sometimes confuses me when I begin to understand the words of God. God will tell you, I have to take the place up there. The how, you don't have to know. How you get there, Ruby, I don't know. But the Lord says you have to get there. How you get there, I don't know. The only thing you have to do is to believe that he has called me. Listen, friends. The Bible tells us that God has good intentions for us. His word says, for I know the plans I have for you. Plans not to destroy you, but plans to prosper you. To take the place of there. I want to make a very remarkable statement, please write down, if you have got your iPad or you have got your, wherever you're writing. A place got there, and where you are today, the question is what I spoke to you, if you remember when I last spoke in this church, the giant team. The giant is that you still have to be exercised to get a place got there. Let me, let me read something to you. First Kings 17. First Kings 17, the Bible says in verse 24, I'll move a little bit quick so that I can finish what I want to tell you. The Bible says in First Kings 17, verse 2 to 4, Then the word of the Lord came to Elijah and said, Leave here. Turn eastward and hide in Kareth River, east of Jordan. Yes. He'll drink from the, the rock. And I've directed the rebels to feed you with food there. Are you following me tonight? Another place God came to a man, profound man by the name of Abraham. He said to Abraham in chapter 12 of Genesis, verse 1. Yeah. 
The Lord said, Abraham, he said to him, go from your country, your people, your father's house, to a land I'll show you a place called there. Now, what I need you to understand, friends, when God is taking you to greatness, he doesn't show you the arm. That's right. That's the mystery of God. I've searched in the word of God. I've tried to search God and said, God, will you please make my journey shorter by showing you what I'm supposed to do? But God does not do that. His attributes, the nature of God, it weighs a higher than you are. They are way beyond than you think. Sometimes it's very difficult to really, you know, focus in on your path to the place God there, but you have to. Genesis 4, 22, verse 1 and 2. Genesis 22, verse 1 to 2. Genesis 22, verse 1 and 2. God came to Abraham and said, sometime later, God tested Abraham. He said to him, Abraham, here I am, he replied. Then God said, take your son, your only son, whom you love, Isaac. Go to the region of, Mor 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 region of Moriah, sacrifice him there as a burnt offering. On a mountain, I'll show you. Are you following me? So you need to take your son to a place called there. Yeah. On the mountain of Mount Moriah, to a place I'll show you. It's like you are saying, go to Benuda, bless you. Benuda is very big. Lord, how do I know my specifics? I want to be specific. Mm. When I go to the mule, I want to be specific. You know, when I come here, I know where I'm going. Mm. I know I've got family with the church of God. I've got family at Clearview. I've got, you know, I know my specifics. But God says, go to Bermuda to a place where I'll show you. In other words, God is saying, you know, you're human thinking. You have to come out of it to the name of God. Because God, him and alone, who take your place God there. Yeah. Yeah. Friends, yeah. you are not done yet. Mm -hmm. I've come to tell you that you are not done yet. I've come to tell you that you are not out of the game. I've come to tell you whatever the devil has spoken, you are still in the game. You're on the way to a place God there. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. One thing that I'm praying that you know, after this service, you have to be encouraged to get on your track, your destiny, because you don't have to die and fulfill. That's right. You have to die and fulfill. Yes. You know, I'm speaking to you as a living testimony. I'm speaking as a, a son of this church. The first time I came, this is not the way it was. Ruby, you remember Ruby? God wants to take a place called there. A place called there is a place of your maximum potential. Jeremiah 18, verse 1 and 2. Jeremiah says, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. Saying, arise and go down to the daughter's house. And there, oh God. And there I will speak to you. Yeah. There I'll show you. Now come tell me, where is the potter's house? Where, where, where? The Lord says, stand, rise and go to the potter's house. Some of you have missed the that scripture says, the potter's house is coming to heritage church. Potter's house is a place God there. At the potter's house, you will be able to hear the voice of God. At the potter's house, you will be able to see yourself and discover who you are. Discover yourself as you walk towards your destiny. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes. Let me tell you, friends, when I was searching to discover who I am, when I meet the real Chabala, I was afraid of myself. The real. You know, I come from the Bible where the devil says you mount up to nothing. The devil says you will not make it. The enemy says you stand on the word. They spoke every word. They said whatever they said. Every 
mountain was in on my way. I never saw the future. All I saw was these bounds, valleys, and waters, and, and fire. Are you with me? When the Lord showed me the real Chabala, I was afraid. So no, this is not me. Because what I was told again, it is that friends to get to a place called there, you have to discover who you are in Christ Jesus. The Lord is not moved by self-pity. God does not move by self-pity. It's moved by giants in us. When everybody says I'm backing off, somebody says we'll make it. And get that excites God. Are you here with me? The place God there. Giants get there. The place God there. People who discover themselves get there. The place God there, there's a price to pay. The place God there, there's a cost to pay. You cannot just walk in there. Some of you have believed when you get saved, then the battle is finished. That's when the battle starts. When you get saved, that's when the battle starts. As a matter of fact, some of you, you'll be tested by somebody in the church. Oh, yes. Maybe it's not here. Maybe it's not here. Maybe it's not here. You know, maybe, it's, maybe it's not here. When you get saved, some of your trials will be done by people who are familiar to you. Some of the people that are familiar to you, they will take you out of the game. They will take you out of the place, out of the world, to place not there. They have spoken, they have told you, you won't make it, you are nothing. Stay on your feet. Are you accepting that? The answer is no. I have to get the place from there. There is my place of potential. There, Lord, take me there, Heavenly Father. I have to be there before I'm taken. Lord, allow me to be there before I die. A place for there. If I can move quickly as I can. Let me tell you that a place got there has got mystical presence. A place got there has got mystical presence. I've got to tell you, friends, that if you are saved, if you are changed in your life, you carry a mystical presence which we don't realize. Amen. Amen. Are you there with me? We carry that uniqueness. I don't know, some of you, if you have seen people that come to your home, when they come to your home, you know, your babies are run away. They haven't prayed. They haven't done anything. They just come. And everything begins to run away. Maybe I'm the only one who experienced that. <laughs> you know, when I came last year, I moved with Bishop here and there a little bit when I was last year. I mean, the man who is that's called a mystical presence of a relationship. Come, let me talk to you. The man, whenever he goes, hey, 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 have you seen that? Yes, yes. Maybe I'm thinking what you don't see. He has got mystical presence of relationship. When I went back to Buffalo, I tried that. <laughs> I live in a white community, I tried that. I said, hey, 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 hey. They said, what are you talking about? <laughs> what, 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 why are you calling us like that? You know, that's not my mystical presence. Yeah. That's not my ambition. That's why it's not mine. I could not just. I enjoyed wherever we went. He did that. I said, I'll take it to Buffalo. I tried it. Everybody says, What are you talking about? <laughs> you have mystical presence. It is time you believe in the mystical presence around you. It's time you believe that God is with you. It's time to believe that the giant is in you. It's time to believe that I'm. I'm unique, peculiar. Yes. Yes. I'm not anybody else. I'm the only one. Yes. Even when I went to the area where I passed a little church, 
as a black man from Africa with a stigma. I went there, I had to greet my white brothers. After they moved on the hands, they are wrapped on the hands. They always had to identify them by my accent. They want me to change their American accent. I don't do it. Well, I thought about it. <laughs> it can't happen. I mean, the man is over 50 now. I must be ready now to speak American. This just shows you that you don't accept your mystical presence. You have to be yourself. You have to be yourself. I know it's just listen to me. Come, let me speak to you. You know this, what I'm calling as conformity. When people have a new challenge, they begin to say, where are you from? When they are not used to new challenges. They are saying, here where we are, we live in conformity. But let me tell you something. If you are to change Bermuda, you have to be different. You cannot change Bermuda in big conformity. You have to be unique. Yeah. You have to carry your mystical presence. Some of you, you carry just the nature of your administration. Uh -huh. Have you seen Brian? All of you, you are all you are just you come in the church. I saw, I saw some people that were dancing here. Where is he? He was somewhere here. There. <laughs> he, he went, he went. And I tried that. I said, well, my back my, 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 my. <laughs> And I saw Brian. He went down and ran around and some of you come to church, just sit. Yeah. Where are you going to be free? Jesus. Where? Yes. 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 Jesus. Yes. In the house of God, David said, I was glad. Yes. Yes. Very glad. Yes. When I said, let us go to the house of the Lord, I saw Bishop. Man, I've never seen him dance like that. <laughs> so I said, Lord God, things are away from the way I don't want him to fall down. You have to understand, friends, that you have got mystical presence. Mm. Believe in yourself yes. to get there. Yes. Yes, sir. Amen. You have to. Yes. I'm speaking to you from the way you have known me to today. And I was telling my sons, who, by the way, my first son is now doing aero engineering design. Mm -hmm. My second son is doing medicine at the age of 18. It took me to tell them this word I'm telling you. If you can't to settle, settle for anything, don't settle for anything less than the best of your life. Yeah. And I want to tell you, it's never late. You do have time to reconstruction your path to the place of there. You can do it. And don't delay tonight is your time. Do not delay. This church, I'm saying it there. And as I came here, Bishop was saying the same thing, praying for this church. You will never get there until you really understand. The way you're going to grow this church is by you having your mystical presence. How do you expect Bishop to be vitalizing this town at all? Yourself. When people look at you, you don't complain. You don't think yourself low. Your shoulders are always up. You look ahead. You don't look down. No. When people look at you, they'll tell you there's something good about you. Amen. Least Amen. 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 You know, there was commotion that happened when they arrested Jesus. There was so much commotion there, Bishop. No one could know who you are. There was so much crying. There was so much commotion. But let me tell you what happened. Peter was sorted out. They said, you were with him as well. Why? Mystical presence. You are the light of this world. You are the salt of this, of this world. That's why the light you have cannot put, be put under the table. You have mystical presence. That's why whenever you are, you have to control the way you speak. Control your mind. Because you are supposed to be in charge of your mind. Tell your mind, Chabana, you make it. You are not a failure. Time is not late. You still have time. Amen. Amen. Mystical presence. Mystical presence. <laughs> I do carry one myself. 
This is the only Chabala you find. And God has gifted me the gift of encouragement. If you don't know. That's what I'm doing. Just encourage me. Number two, God gives, has given me the word of knowledge. The Lord shows me prophetic words <clears throat> and shows me things. As a matter of fact, there's somebody I want to pray for you. You are challenged those drugs of depression. The Lord wants to set you free. And I don't want you to misunderstand it. You can go on uh, the present tablets, but having Jesus, My God. you have to pray it. Amen. Please don't go home without talking to me. We need to pray together. His presence is here. It is <clears throat> some of the friends I want to show you, some of not friends, but biblical friends that may uh, you may know who are mystical presence. Number one, right now, <clears throat> Samson. Samson had a very unique mystical presence. Samson was a person that is able to incarnate when danger comes. He was able to change to meet the demand of the challenge. Follow my English here. Samson was able to incarnate or change to meet the demand of the challenge. When a challenge comes, you don't have to seek down. You have to encourage to meet that challenge. Are you with me? Yes. Several times, Samson, the Bible said, the Spirit of the Lord came upon him. Yes. And I had to tear down the lion with bare horns. Yes. Samson was a man like yourself and I. Samson was a weak man as we are. Yes. But he understood the mystical presence that he had. Yes. And that had to see all on the other side. You may tell me, Pastor Chibala, I've made so many, so many mistakes. I have made mistakes myself. Pastor Chavala, I'm thrown out of the game. Many times I've been thrown out of the game myself. You may say people talk about me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. I'm the talk of the day. Are you there with me? But here is the word of the Lord, friend. You are still in the game. You are done, do not done yet until the Lord says you are done. Even by the way, the mistakes you made, hear the word of the Lord. Samson made terrible mistakes. He lost the mystical presence. He lost everything. He lost his eyes. He was thrown into prison. He was in the chains. And as he was in the chains there, the giant mystical presence, although it was not working, he was inside him. Mm -hmm. One day he woke up and says, Lord God, this one more time. One more time. Yes. This one more time. One more time. Uh, Samson, he was not aggressive. He was not defensive. He was not protecting himself. He said, Lord God, I sinned before you. Yes. I have missed it all. But this one more time, Lord God, give me one more chance. One more chance. One more chance. And he had to ask, you know, at the moment he began to speak that the giant began to roar inside him. That's what happens. When you remember who you are, somebody said, Chabala, you can make it. You can make it. You can make it. Something, something. you can make it. The man stood up in chains. He called the other bearer. I said, take me to the central pillar yes. of this building. Yes. Yes. He went blind with all the chains was moving. He was slow but confident that the Lord is with me. And the hammer pillar says, you we are there now. So said, okay, put my left hand on the other, the other pillar. Yes. That one on the right pillar. Yes. Am I there? The hammer pillar says, you are there. Yes. And Samson said, Lord God, yes. this one more time. Something, yes. friends, the devil might tell you something. I want to challenge you to ask God for one more chance. One is a goal of another chance, He can give it to you. You are not out of the game. You are there. Yes. The Bible says Samson killed more people than his life. This is a Pentecostal Sunday. He's not just. You know, the joy and excitement comes with foundational truth. Yeah. 
When you know the truth, the truth will set you free. Yes. I know with me. Yes. Samson, he knew. Friends, since you are, I knew this church, I've gone through terrible things personally. Last week I called Mother Smith. I said, Mother Smith, where are you coming to Bermuda? She said, I'm not there. <laughs> I don't have to be there for you anymore. Go on there. Then I said, you know, why is she so rough to me like this? <laughs> I, I took another step. I said, you know, I want to talk to you because I've gone through some things. She sent me another word. <clears throat> she said, but you are strong. And she closed the phone. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Great leaders believe in you. Great leaders. I've come to challenge you. You can make it. Heritage Worship Center, you can make it. I've come to encourage you can make it. You can make it. The place for right there is waiting for you. Are you with me tonight? All we have to do is quickly move and equip ourselves for place God there. Now the key thing as we move, you have to remember the word persistent. You have to persist. You have to endure. You have to pray without ceasing. You have to constantly claim your planet belonging. You have to cry before the Father. You have to push. Bishop Smith preached a message in Namibia when I was there, but I, I almost said, Papa, can you keep quiet? <laughs> he was teaching in a, in a seminar. Then he said, just like that, like the ladies, they tell them, push! I said, hey, what do you see that? Here, here in this culture, you don't see that? <laughs> the boy tried to stop him, the way he, he spoke loud. Yes. You have to push. Yes. You have to push. You have to be persistent. You have to claim what belongs to you. You have to put yourself in the game. You cannot allow anyone to take you out of the game. You have to be in the game. You have to stay in the game. Sometimes we need to yell to call ourselves back. You know, God yelled at Adam and Eve. He said, Adam, where are you? In other words, was like, come back. Jephthah had mystical presence. Jephthah was born from a prostitute. Judges 11. Jephthah was born from a prostitute, and yet he had mystical presence. You don't, you don't understand what I'm saying. Stop counting things of the past. Forget about the past. Move on to greater dimension. You cannot stay in the past. Right. Do away with the past. Are you here with me? Yes. Jephthah was born in Africa when they say you are a prostitute. I'm telling you, people run away from you. Yeah. But this man of God was born from a prostitute. And yet, he had mystical presence. He served Israel. David, you know the story very well. He was a man who found and made so many mistakes. But David had mystical presence. Yeah. He was a man who was able to challenge the giant. You come to me in the name you know, with all those fighting tools. But I come to you in the name of the Lord with my mystical presence. Mystical presence. I'm paraphrasing. You know, what gives you courage, friends? It's not you, the way we, we shout or we, we cry before the Lord or we talk. No, it's a mystical presence of the Lord. I have seen people. Who pray for sicknesses, possessions of demons? Oh. But I say, in the name of the Lord, come on, come on. Come yes. on. You come on, you come on. And demons begin to scream and leave. Yes. Why does we also shout, come out? In, in the name of the Lord, we have to shout. Whatever way we do it, as long as they come out. Whatever we do. <laughs> but I've come to tell you, we have mystical presence. You have to remember that. Child of God, it's time. We have mystical presence, remembering. Let me tell you something. I, I, I didn't see people who are dancing like Bishop this morning. Will you please follow the leader when you see that? Amen. Follow the leader. You know, God challenged Moses. Say it again. 
Yes. I said, Moses, yes. I need to select seven elders yes. that you need to follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Yes. I'm about to close. Follow me. <laughs> Numbers 11, verse 16 to 17. Numbers Say 11. Again. Yes. 70. God said to Moses, yes. Moses, select the seven elders. Yes. Amen. Find the seven elders. And when you find the seven elders, I'll take your spirit, spirit. and yes. put it there. Yes. Yes. If ever you are under Bishop Duncan, you need to have his spirit. If you are under this man of God, you need to put his spirit. It's all in different spirit. The Bible is telling us here very clear. God did not say, I'll put my spirit in there. He said, I'll take your spirit. When you see the man begin to go like that, follow him. When they begin to sweep, sweep them there the church. Sweep the place. I need that with me. Mystical presence. If there is any takeaway tonight, I want you to go. If there's any takeaway tonight, I want you to understand you are unique in your mystical presence. Yes. And the only way that the chains can trip on that all is by each one of us understanding our mystical presence. Some of you are, you are, you are wonderful in administration. Some of you are ushers. Some of you are just teachers, evangelists. And when we meet together, we make the difference. I, know. Yes. I remember the time that Bishop was from the other church. When I came this morning, I remember that was the kind of worship we used to have. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Music of presence. Mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. Quickly closing, quickly closing. I'm closing. Israel moved with the mystical presence. Some of you who have not understood the historical journey of the Israelites began in Africa. I love somebody. <laughs> Where is Egypt? Africa. Come with me. I want to tell you something. They, the Israelites were in Africa. They were there. And God said, I'll take you to a place called there. As they were moved from Egypt, they began to go down. As a matter of fact, they walked along the Nile towards Ethiopia. When they were in Ethiopia, Ethiopia is Africa, they crossed off into Saudi Arabia. There's no way I see America there. Are you there with me? You must speak against America. No, I want to encourage you. They moved into Saudi Arabia. From Saudi Arabia, they went and started going upward into that country to a place called Kadesha, Barnea. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's a very important place I'm closing with. You need to follow me. They were going towards a place called Kadesha, Barnea. Yes, sir. And then when we were there, Kadesha, Barnea, they camped there and they stayed in the place. According to the book of Deuteronomy, Kadesha Banya was about 150 miles into the promised land. According to Deuteronomy, the Bible says it was a seven day journey into the promised land. Kadesha Banya is a very historical and very important place that you have to understand as I close. Kadesha Banya, many Christians are still there. Kadesha Banya. You have seen your place for there, but yet you are still in Kadeshaban. Kadeshaban was the place where Moses died because he could not obey what God told him. It was Kadeshaban where God sent the spy to see, where Moses sent the spy to see the promised land. It was Kadeshaban where God killed Aaron and Miriam, the sister. It was the day Shepardia where God <clears throat> changed his plan to send Israel back to where they came from because of complaining. Are you there with me? There was such a dynamic miracle that happened. They crossed over in two across the Red, Red Sea to a place where they were about to enter there. They were changing their way of life, but yet they could not see what God was doing on their mouth. There was complaining every day. Yes. On their mouth, there was always complacency. In 
the amount the Lord will say, this God you Moses brought to you. Yes, yes. They were never thankful. Let me hear with these words, friends. Kadesha Daniel is a place where you can get to a place called there. Or go back to Egypt. Mm -hmm. Or die in the wilderness. I know. Kadesha Bani is a crucial place. It's a place where you have to make it up your mouth. It's a place whereby there's no room for just excitement, but there's room for decision making. It's a place whereby you say, Lord God, if you don't bless me, I'm not going to live here. It's a place whereby you say, Lord God, it's time that I, my life get changing. It's a place whereby you say, God, I need my husband. It has been a long time. I need a godly man to take me to the other side. It's a place whereby you say, God, I have to heal my cancer. It's a place whereby you say, God, I won't stay in this thing anymore. It's a place whereby you say, God, I have to give my employment. I am not, I'm not, I'm not the least. I'm, I'm the head. I listen. Kadesha time. Where are you this morning? Friends, this is a very powerful church. I don't know what it says, amen. Oh, somebody said it. Thank you. This church is a great church. Yes. 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 Move on to a place called there. Amen. Are you there with me? Yes. Do not look back. No. Take away three points with you. Three points. Take away. Three points. Number one. Number one. You have the giant inside yourself. Number two, you have mystical presence. Yes. Number three, you are unique. You have to do your things differently. Of course, under the submission of the mother vision. I love you. Mm -hmm. And as you do that, God who takes the place of fair, I can't imagine to see Ruby Lawrence dying with a rich life yesterday. I can imagine the friend, you dying with at least with your max reputation. I have not arrived. We haven't arrived. Bishop, have you arrived? No. Stand with me. I want to pray for the desperate this morning. Remember what I've been saying. We carry this for presence. I can't want myself. I want to pray for the desperate. He was saying, Pastor, you better pray for me. I need to change the place where I am to another, another level. I need to discover my, my way into the place God there. Please come up, we pray together here. I want to pray for the desperate. I want to pray for the desperate. He was saying, Pastor Chibana, don't close the meeting tonight. Pray for me. I need to go to the place God there. Remember the place God there. God is the porter. And it's not you. You can never buy with money the place God there. You have to find it with God. God is the transport the place God there. Every eye closed if you can. Every eye closed if you can. Every eye closed. I need to play the music a little bit low, brother. There are people here that have been held from the past. I want to plead with you to come in the front. Come. The Lord is waiting for you. Bishop, could you please come with your wife? I want to, you want to pray for the people. Let me finish what the Lord is saying. You want to pray for the people. There are some people here that are still wrestling, fighting with things of the past. I plead with you to let go of the past and come in the front. His presence is here. Every eye closed if you can. Every eye closed. Every eye closed. Every eye closed. Somebody who has not forgiven you. You are still wrestling with something in the past of unforgiveness. The Lord says you have to let go tonight to get the place God there. It is not easy, friends. It is not easy to forgive. But the commandment. 
I'm waiting for you. Quickly come, quickly come, quickly come. Somebody here is having, you know, sickness problem. It has been persistent. Tonight is your night. Come, let's pray together. His presence is here. Thank you, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Father, we are in your presence right now. Everybody begin to pray right now. In the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Father, we thank you for your word today. Hold hands, all those around the altar. Those of you who are standing, just stretch your hands. One more act of faith toward these around the altar. Lord, we thank you for this day. Thank you for your word. There is a place of quiet rest there through the heart of God. There is a place called there. Lord, today we make one more step to that place that you have for us here on earth. More importantly, Lord, for our eternal home in heaven. Thank you for sending the Holy Spirit into the world to be our guide, our teacher, our comforter. We get fire in the chilly winds of the nighttime. Lord, as we pray around this altar one more time, we say, Pass us not, O gentle Savior. Hear our humble cry. While on others thou art calling, do not pass us by. Thank you for Pastor Chabala today. Spoke your word, Lord, and challenged our hearts. Lord, I pray that you will strengthen our resolve, that our eyes will be fixed on you. We'll make it to that place that you have for us. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for your goodness toward us. And even as your people give, God, in time of tithing and giving, I pray that you will bless us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. And everybody said, Amen. Everybody standing, let's just sing with the organist and the music. While no longer stop our calling, while others stop calling, do not pass us by. Get your ties and your orphan in your hand, everybody, and let's just sing. Pass me not, oh gentle, sing. Lift up your tithes, lift up your gifts to the Lord. 
And as we get ready to be dismissed from this place, you know what you stand in the need of. You're not just giving away your tithes or giving away your offering, but God has promised to fight for you, to protect you, to be your battle axe with your tithes and your offering. So I ask you, Lord, to bless the gifts of your people. Some give out of their abundance. Some give out of their lack. But Lord, you command us to bring return the tithes to you. So we're obedient. You ask us to joyfully give an offering so we adhere to your word. And leave a new creation and apostle that waiting today. We pray your divine blessings upon you the ministry there in the Barclay Institute, that you would bless them, that they will have to give again a hundredfold. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Before you give, you can't afford to miss tonight at 6 30. Prophetess Joyce and Barnett will be here. Pastor David Lamb and Lady Lamb will be here. All of the Testament is coming together for the finale of this weekend. We look forward to seeing you at 6 30. Be sure to secure a bulletin and read your announcements because there are things in there going on in the life of the church. Come from wherever you are now. Just meet the people now, ushers, and let's come sing and save your Savior here. Visitors, you are all dead.